<laughs> it's almost evening yet still hot as hell outside but he's a guy but oh my god Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you. I was like, what do I say when I say in Spanish and in English this part? And I think it's nice to meet you. So yeah, and welcome back to Stains Gate Elite. Yeah, yeah, that. Yes, I was like, what I'm playing. <laughs> so yeah, let's start now. Chapter one. Since the other one was chapter zero, intro, prologue of the beginning and something like that is the trophy i'm like so confused so yeah let's go um like always i'm sorry for my english wherever you don't understand me i'm trying my best <laughs> so yeah so let's go quick load yeah quick load better yep yes let's go mm. oh i'm pumped Yeah, yes. It's with me. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm answering. You're the one not hearing. Manukizra <laughs> <laughs> you know this this the way he's talking is like i don't know if you guys watch uh um uh, what's the name uh i forgot netflix that one that mm, okay never mind モニターの中にいるのは貴様なのだよ。貴様が現実だと思っているその世界は実は全て虚構。もちろん。いや、その自身も。あ、いや、I know. No, I can handle the truth. I believe you. Don't worry. まあいい。貴様には分かりやすく。俺たちのことについて説明してやろうではないか。まず、俺たちがいるのはどこかということだ。ここは東京秋葉原にある未来ガジェット研究所だ。俺たちは普段ラボと呼んでいる。世界の支配構造を作り変えるという我が野望の拠点だな。Okay, you want to destroy everything. そうなんだ。悪いことしちゃダメなんだよ、オカリン。Tell <笑> him. まあ、入りは少し黙っていろ。駅から出たら中央通りを進み、水広町駅の交差点を車前橋通りへ左折。次の信号の一歩手前の路地を入ると、大日山ビルという古臭い雑居ビルがある。I don't know if I need to remember this. I'm gonna walk. 目印はビル 1階にある。ブラウン管工房というマニアックなテナントだな。Okay, something with B and T. 今時、旧式のブラウン管テレビだけを扱っているショップだ。いかに電気街である秋葉原といえども、需要があるとは思えない。錆びれた店なのだ。だが。ブラウン観光房店長である天王寺というおっさんがこのビルのオーナーでもあるゆえに今野球ピッチで都市開発が進みしかも高騰しているこの秋葉原であろうと道楽丸出しの店を構えていられるというわけだ幸いにもあの店
この俺のカリスマ性を見抜きビル2階をまるまるワンフロアただ同然で貸してくれたのだうわはははははははははははだが未来ガジェット研究所は深刻な人材不足のため優秀な研究員を随時募集中だ今のところ所属研究員はオカリンオカリンそこはラボメンって言わなきゃ所属研究員じゃなくて<笑>ラボメンすなわちラボラトリーメンバーは俺を含めて3人であるラボメンナンバー001ラボ創設者にして狂気のマッドサイエンティストであるこの俺ホーイン・キョーマホーニン・キョーマあがれでホーニン・キョーマオカリンって呼び方の方がかわいいのに<笑> That's true Uneasy そしてコスプレが趣味の好一点ラボメンナンバー002シーナ・マユリてってねマユシーです着るんじゃなくて作るのが趣味だよてってる<笑>最後にスーパーハカラボメンナンバー003橋田イタルだスーパーハカーって呼ぶなよスーパーハッカーだろジョーコそんな我々三人で構成される未来ガジェット研究所の活動内容はそのものズバリ発明で詳細は oh, sorry. 我がラボのホームページを見てくれもちろん闇の支配権力と戦うための未来ガジェットが最優先事項だがその研究から派生する副産物的な発明も多いというか今のところはそっちばかりだすでに我々は8つの未来ガジェットを完成させただがこれはまだ上昇でしかない未来ガジェットのアイデアは俺の中に108まであるのだ某テニス漫画みたいにですねわかります人の煩悩の数といえこのアットチャンネルの名それと俺が話しているのだから口出しをするのと言っているだろう。I didn't say anything. Don't yell at me. I'm sensibility. Wait, what? Sensible. Se se、oh, そもそもオカリン、<笑>さっきからなんで一人ごと喋ってんの<笑> ?He knows. He knows I'll talk to myself. 一人ごとではない。見てわからないのか。俺は今。モニターの向こうにいるこいつに話しかけているのだ。That's true. あ、今その人、にやりって笑った。どうのれ貴様、何を笑っているのか。モニターの中の存在のくせに。<笑>こっちみんなって言ってやれば。通じないんじゃないかな。We are that. 俺たちに話しかけられていることにすら気づいていないらしいな。自覚がないというのは、実に不幸なことだ。その人にしてみたら、マユシーたちがゲームみたいに見えてるのかな ?No, maybe a little bit. そいつには現実なのかゲームなのかっていう発想さえないんじゃねんじゃあ。ダルコの大好きな二次元の女の子たちもそうなの<笑>それは別あの子たちは僕の嫁だからダルの嫁の話はどうでもいいでもさマユシの言ったことって興味深いテーマじゃんもし仮に僕たちがゲームの中の住人だとしたらそれを見極める術はあると思う Why are you trying to confuse me? No, no. Okay. So, what do you say? You any, so no, you're not getting what you want. Sekai no Shihai Kozo, which could have a whole horn, it's a kangaroo hoga. You hold on, you eat up. 
中二病オツあ、step back from the monitor あ、ah, OK、oh, oh. OK、It wasn't with me It was with a Yama person <laughs> So sexy So sexy I display it on the screen is the ugly ugly cute character Alpaca Man <laughs> This is a game called Alpaca Man 2 where you speak to Alpaca Man via microphone and watch him react <laughs> the, <laughs> the game exploded in popularity when it was released 10 years ago but personally I found only the ugly part of ugly cute to be true Me too. I bought it yesterday. One, 500 yen used. Headset included. I turned to Daru with a、um, menacing glare. Damare Super Haka. Oh, Kyoma. Koina Kyoma. そういう設定っしょ<笑>やれやれ誰の人とのコミュニケーションの取れなさはどれだけ経っても治らないなアニメのオフ会じゃ僕がいつも場を盛り上げてるっつうの This, this fat bespectacled Guy is my brother. Oh, in arms. Okay. And right hand man, Hashida Itaru, nicknamed Daru. Okay, Daru is, is easy. He has a 2D wife and a womb. He cheats with a, <laughs> with a 3D mate. I don't agree with his preference, but to him, anything's fine as long as it's moi. What is moi? He's the re re reliable and skilled partner who brings my ideas to fruition. Despite his instance that software is his fault, he, he shows remarkable aptitude with hard words as well. Aww. So cute. The d i t s e girl is the Charge of the lab official custom divisions for women, and today she's working on customs at her usual leisurely pace. Unfortunately, I have no idea if the costumes are well made or not because I don't know what the characters are supposed to look like. <laughs> Why does the future gauge laboratory need costume for women? It doesn't. The truth is that Mayuri is completely useless. <laughs> Still, there is no way I would ever kick her out. After all, she was the first one to join the future gauge laboratory. I still remember the day Mayuri first came to the lab. It was spring, she said to me. To me, her offer was my salvation. De Ocarin, Alpaca Man, h a n o s t a n Yeah, then the Alpaca Man, too. The human face alpaca inside the monitor was completely unres unresponsive. So unresponsive, you think the game was bugged. Kono, I saw Alpaca Man. <laughs> Antisocial alpaca, man. Hmm? The TV makes a sound like it's shorted, and then the screen goes black. I change the channel, nothing. Check the power cable, nothing. Whack it again, nothing. I guess it's broken. Damn. This screamy TV is on lease from the brown tube workshop downstairs. It's probably just old. 
とねアルパカさんが怒っちゃったんだよ。Yep. <笑>あとで修理できるか聞きに行かなければ。I turn off the TV and look out the window. I can stand the humidity of Japanese summers, blessed by a slight breeze blowing through my window, I guess far out into the horizon. I close my eyes, and what naturally comes to mind is that impossible scene I saw an hour ago. Wait, this. The, the thing? Oh, we were after this. And it wasn't just the people on the street. The people in the stores gone, in the restaurants gone, even the cars vanished, drivers and all. And it all happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, an empty city spread before me. Heat was rising from the asphalt in waves, but I felt only a cold chill down my spine. Then, wandering through the desert Akiba, I saw a satellite smash into the rooftop of Radikan. And then the intro came. I just stood there, breathless, unit, until. My ears voice. Brought me back to reality. My ears hadn't disappeared. Now, <laughs> Is everything empty right now or what? So there was a cut on my tomb, you her reply didn't make any sense. Tony Kakune, I shall cut a cono henny, what are you in a cut to you? Ah, a soca, okay, you are my boros, you'll meet it and then, eh? Okay. <laughs> How could she laugh at a time like this? I always thought she was a bit strange, but maybe her brain is actually broken. <laughs> I realized that she couldn't help me. With nowhere else to turn, I look up at the bright blue sky. Naturally, my eyes drift to the top floor of Freddy Can, where I had been just a moment before. There it was, an enormous machine, like some kind of satellite, embedded in the roof of the building. The same building where just moments before I had found Makis Kurisu's body in a pool of blood. What happened to her? Has anybody called an ambulance? Just before everyone, everyone disappeared, I could have sworn I hear an ambulance siren. Makis Kurisu may still be in that dark room, cold, bloody, and alone. The thought disturbed me, but the question at the forefront of my mind was. Someone. 
satellite. Mm. Right before Dr. Nakabashi presentation, the building was shaken by an unknown force. The roof door lock had been broken, and beyond it sat a large satellite like machine. That's right, when I saw it, the object was neatly sitting on the rough tooth. Rough top. But that's not what I was seeing now. This satellite had penetrated the top floor of the building. It looked as if it had completely obliterated the room where Dr. Nakabashi's press conference had been held. It must have fallen out of orbit without burning up in the atmosphere somehow. I knew it was crazy, but what other explanation could there be? The real question was... When did that happen? It certainly did make a sound, but I don't think it was Kaplow. <laughs> I had said it was more like Zon. Like the roar of an earthquake. <laughs> but I lost my mind. What I had seen didn't match at all with that. Mayuri was saying. Suddenly nothing seemed real. Had I dreamed it all? I called the attention of a police trying to cordon off the scene and tried to tell him about the stabbing of Makis Kurisu but no one got stabbed at Radikan. He anno annoyingly insists. What? How could he say that with such certainty? We were scored up to UPASO and released. There were people at UPX like usual. And that brings us to the present. Uh, I'm blave. Did the war hour since the beginning of Nakabashi presentation really happen? I check online for any news. The net is buzzing about the mysterious machine that crashed into Radikan. Nobody has mentioned anything about the disappearance of hundreds of people from Akiba streets nor about Makese Kurisu murder. It's all a mystery. A mystery. So そういうことか。そういうことか。これも全て機関の隠蔽工作ということだな。警察にすら圧力をかけられるということは、この国の中枢ももはや奴らの手の内にあるということは。なんということだ。だが、俺の目は<笑> ごまかせんぞ。Having come to a satisfactory conclusion, I take a celebratory bottle of Dr. P, my favorite soda from the fridge. Okay, 
この知的飲料の良さがわからないやつは人生の5分の1を損しているぞ。うわっはははステップスルーデコーティンディバイディングイッツセンターアンユーウィルエンターデヘッドオフデフューチャーゲージラボラトリーアトップシークレットデベロップメントルームレストリンクティングオンリートゥラブメンバーズパーソナリーアムノットファウンドオフディスチップコーティンアイオフデンドリームオフリンプレイシングイッツウィッツアーロックバッドアウトリセーシュポジェットイスオーレディスクラップインデボトンオフデバーロベサイズウォッツインポータンイズンデモニーイッツアンビッション All of the wins those here are with ever strip with baking tape, so it's steam. Windows. I, I thought it was saying wins though. And hot, almost like a sauna. I have been waiting to buy an air condition for the lab, but there's no money for that. We're currently accepting donations. Daru, the plan is to be fully ready. え計画ってなんぞいや、わかった。I sign and turn his attention to the table in the middle of the room.Sitting majestically on the top of the table is a commercial grade microwave, even it's significantly larger than newer home models. 計画は計画だ。八号機の挑戦以外に何があるというのかああそのこといきなり計画とか言うから何事かと思ったそろそろお前との付き合いも3年半ほどになる We went to high school together and now we're going to the same university We share an inseparable bond like prison cellmate He's only been a lab member for two months though 高二の時はクラス別でほとんど喋んなかったじゃんだから実質2年半じゃね<笑>細かいことはどうでもいいそれほどの付き合いの長さなのだからいい加減俺の会話についてこられるようになってくれそれは無理Man, all I want to do was have one of those cool cryptic conversations where we talk about plans and preparation and other important sounding stuff, but no one knows what I, it means except us. Hmm. Yeah, So far, the future gauge laboratory has completed a total of eight inventions. As I explained to Alpaca Man, the lab's primary goal is to develop weapons for the war against the Dark Dominion, led by the organization that rules the war from the shadows. Hi, Illuminati. At present, we haven't completed any inventions of that sort. On the contrary, we haven't even figured out what we should make. But along the way, we have managed to create some ingenious futurish gadgets as a bioproduct of our research. It's, it is a fundamental truth of science that great inventions are often created by accident, in other words, serendipity. So far, they total 8 in number. Gadget 1 The Beat Practical Gun. Gadget 2, the bamboo helicam. Gadget 3, could this be Aura Aura? <laughs> Gadget 4, mud snake. Gadget 5, once again, I have a worthless object by Goemon. Gadget 6, Sialum Saber. Gadget 7, Ghost in the Ball. Anyway, our current problem is the future gadget number 8, the phone wave. Phone Wave is a pretty weak name, so I have had name subjects to change. To the end, we came up with something better. For the record, it was my Yuri's idea, not mine. But I decided. The Phone Wave name is, in short, a remote control microwave. A few days ago, 
However, we discovered that the phone wave has a second un that our brave, our possible just did see Mayuri had made her daily routine to hit some frozen fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one, as usual, when unexpected happened. The chicken came out more frozen than when she put it in, the microwave refroze the chicken. Bear in mind, the frozen chicken had almost thawed by the time she placed it in it in the phone wave. But when she removed it, it was frozen solid. Since then, Daru and I have been searching for the cows. さらに<笑> Let her call wherever she wants. That's right. I take the banana from Mayuri and stick the wall bunch into the phone wave. ケチケチしていては、しかんとの戦いに勝利することなどできんぞ。勝たなくてもいいよ。あのね、バナナはマユシーが買ってきてるんだからね。おかげでマユシーはちっともバナナが食べられません。次からは。<laughs> Yeah, why you are doing like all? The phone wave is simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone tape on. The number is already in my address book. I just need to call the phone wave. I waste no time. The call connects in an instant. This is the voice of Mayushi Gidans, the system that will program to operate the phone wave. Mayushi no koe, kikoe te kita? Suskoshi damare. Mayushi Gidans ga kikoe na kunaru. Okay, calm down. Too much numbers. Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave to function like a normal microwave. Instead, we're going to deliberate, mess up, and enter. That should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake on Mayuri's part, but it somehow started the freezing process. The phone ways comes to life. Kirenatante
the three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Get a banana de <laughs> Ew. After Mayur, Mayuri discovered that the phone wave had a freezing function, we attempt to freeze a bunch of banana. This is what happened. It just gets more confusing each time. Dario, this banana. <笑>食べてみようとは思わないか思うはずだ。我らの<笑> いらねえ。ああ。ではまゆり。お前にその名誉を譲ろう。なんかね、ゲルバナは中身がデロデロでブニュブニュだったよ。Wait, she already tried one? This girl did seen is is truly on another level. 味もしないし。全然美味しくなかった。デロデロでブニュブニュか。誰よ。どう思う？ブニュブニュバナナか。ブニュブニュのバナナ。マユシ、あなたのバナナ、ブニュブニュだねって言ってみて。あなたのバナナ、ブニューブ。言わせるな、手の額。Thanks. Thanks. I was like, dude, what are you doing? In any case, there's nothing we can do about it now. It's time for Darwin and I to head to Daibu Daibiru. There's going, there's going to be a seminar at. ATF and we have to be there. Tokyo Denki University where Daru and I go to school corroborates with ATF to set up a satellite classes. Summer credits basically. We have to attend the seminar and write a report. Come to think of it, what's today's seminar about again? I look it up before the summer holidays begin. I should have written it down. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's from Mayuri. You know, I'm really sad about dropping my Upa. It's worse than last year when I miss buying Fatty Girl Froggy. Wait a sec. That this text is from before everybody disappeared. So if we just came and there was nobody and the satellite was there, like my my Yuri said, that means this text is from another timeline. I think we need to talk like this, right? Timelines, because this this is about time. Responding to every last aspect of a message is a waste of time. I should just pick one topic to respond to, or maybe I won't reply reply at all. Okay, I'm gonna reply. I'm gonna reply. Ah. Opa, I feed your brain. That thing was worth a fortune. Our precious research funds. There, that should do it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the lab, 
Daibiru has air conditions, making it an oasis for poor students like us. So, off topic of what I just wrote, wrote, read, I don't know. Uh, I choose the UPA because the UPA happened before all this confusion and the stabbing and all that. So yeah, that's why. Yet another reason for our, our diligent participation in the seminary. <laughs> I won't give in that easily. Even if no other lab member use, I will carry on unit the day we decide the true name. あらゆる可能性について思考を巡らせているのだ。とんでもとか言うな。いや。新羅万象を超越って、つまり何でもありってことじゃね。理論ってレベルじゃねえぞ。だっこプ。ちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちち
there isn't a single blood stain on her clothes, and they are the same one she was wearing when I found her. Only a serious one could have produced that much blood. Yet, as far as I can tell, she's completely uninjured. Look at this. This is great. I realize that I'm gasping in disbelief. Okay, you're gonna scare her, but I'm scared of what's going on. So cool. Is she an illusion? No, an, an evil spirit? Am I haunted? I don't believe in such unscientific tribal. I am a mad scientist. Feel silky, quite the cu cuticles. <laughs> Her skin is so soft, so alive. Dead bodies don't feel like this. Not that I have ever touched one. おかりん、まずくね。おい。己は警察に突き出されたいのか。俺は真実を知りたいだけだ。Me too. That's right. She was stabbed. Maybe she's just hiding her wounds. This requires further investigation. Don't do it. I grab the hem of her jacket. Pull it aside and take a good look at her chest. Okay. Luis-chan's <laughs> Early this afternoon, after Dr. Nakabashi's presentation, someone killed my, my keys and left her in a pool of blood. I carefully explained everything that I saw. Dr. Nakabashi? Okari, what are you doing? Something wrong. Our story are not matching. It's the same thing that happened right after I saw the mass disappearance. My your story didn't match mine. I need to know. Am I caught in some sinister plot? Is there another organization conspiracy? ね、ちょっとあなた。わ、わがなは法院教馬だ。違うよ。全然違うよ。法院さん、今の話詳しく教えてほしいんですが。<laughs> <laughs> Looks like she finally understood and I'm not lying. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everybody else. I doubt that I can give her a good explanation. Maki-se-san, soro-soro jikan desu shi, hajimemashou. Kurisu plays at me one more time, then sings and heads towards the small conference room. Okari, to the end, we're going to go. Going to what? Do you mean? Kogi, you came to hear me, right? Did she come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Why would the girl genius Makis Kurisu need to attend a lecture like this? S 
So I'm guessing he comes from another timeline, tam right? Okay, my guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Japanese famous girl genius Makis Kurisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. According to Daru, she turned 18 a few days ago. I first heard about her when Daru pointed her out in the Gossip Magazine article. The audience is pretty mixed. It's mostly students like us, but there are also a couple of professors. And Kurisu just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? When I stare back at her, she quickly looks away. Hmm, I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. I still don't like her. She may have these people fooled with her timid girl act, but earlier at Ready Can, how cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. ガンバって話してみようと思います。ほう。タイムマシンか。最初に結論を言ってしまうと、タイムマシンなんていうのは馬鹿らしい代物だということです。意義あり。<笑> タイムマシンが作れないと決めつけるのは早計だ。Tell her. Okay. An ATF staffer entered the room ready to kick me out, but Kurusi stopped him. Perhaps I got to carry away. えっと、まあ、はい、いいですよ。Thanks to her proposal, the event staff refrained from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but let's not mind that. でもその前に私の考えを話させてください。これまで世界中の科学者たちがタイムトラベルについての理論を提唱してきました。Hmm. What are the major theories of time travel? I have heard about the cosmic string theory at least. Okay. Not bad. Perhaps Mikis Kurisu is a worthy rival after all. Demo, so the Lidon is Remo, Cassets no Ikio de Massa. ばわいによっては、11個の中の別の理論 A cursed girl. I didn't expect that she'd twist my question and use it against me. All of a sudden, I can feel everyone's eyes on me. It's risky to be conspicuous, so I probably should get to carry away. 
未来へのタイムトラベルなら今すぐにでも可能ですよアインシュタインの相対性理論によればね例えば今すぐ羽田空港に行ってそこから沖縄駅あたりの飛行機に乗ればいい目的地に降り立った時その人は10億分の1秒くらい私より未来に進んでいる、mm -hmm. 移動する速さが高速に近づけば近づくほど時間は遅く流れるそれが相対性理論ですから極論を言えば光と同じほどの速さで走ることができたら流れる時間はその人だけ半分になるわけで24時間その速度で走り続ければ周囲では48時間が経ったことになるから丸1日分未来へ飛んだことになるんですよ法王院京馬さん<笑><笑>では、過去には行けるのかな過去にだって今すぐ行けますよ。夜になったら望遠鏡で空を覗いてみてください。何万年も前の光を見ることができるでしょまあ、今までのは前置き。例えば実際に。皆さんが体ごと過去や未来へ行くことができるようなタイムマシンを作るにはまず何が必要か考えてみましょうサテリああサテリッ代表的なところだと宇宙ひも理論かワームホール理論かな宇宙ひもというのは超巨大な質量を持つひもみたいな形のひび割れですアストランシャップ Receives. That must be how they enter our own universe. But do cosmic strings really exist? Hibi no haba wa soliusi to onaji gurai de, nagasa wa saite de mo ginga kei to onaji gurai to omotte ita dakereba ii des. Kore wa kyodai na hitsuriyo de aru ga yue ni, jiku wo yugameru seishitsu o motte iru des. Sono yuganda jiku wo. 紐を中心にあなたがぐるっと一周すると360度以内で回りきることができる要するにワープみたいなことができるということこれ時空の角度欠損って言います角度欠損しているところを通過するとそこは欠損しちゃってますので通過時間はゼロになるこれを応用して宇宙ひもが高速に近い速さで運動しているとき相対性理論により宇宙ひもの時間は周囲より遅くなるから歪んでいる角度欠損の領域を通過すると本来ゼロだった通過時間がマイナスになるつまり通過後の方が過去になっているわけ。2本の宇宙ひもを使って空間欠損ジャンプを行い元の地点まで周回するように戻ってくるとちょうど周回を開始したのと同じ時間に戻ってくることができるざっくり言っちゃうとそれが宇宙ひも理論によるタイムトラベルです、Thanks. ちなみに誤解しないでほしいのは宇宙ひも理論は超ひも理論とは別物ということですというわけで宇宙ひも理論で過去へ行くために用意するものは3つその1宇宙ひもこれは2つ必要ですあちなみに宇宙ひもって生まれたばかりの宇宙にしかないという仮定なので探すのはかなり骨が折れるかもその2仮に宇宙ひもを見つけてきたらそれを光に近い速さで運動させるためのエネルギーが必要です銀河と同じ長さのひび割れを光並みに加速させるにはどのくらいのエネルギーがいるんでしょうね少なくとも<笑> 1.21 ジゴワット以上なのは確かですその3宇宙ひもがあるところまで行って戻ってくるための宇宙船タイムトラベルする人はこれに乗らないといけません
どうです法王院さん宇宙ひも理論でのタイムトラベル挑戦できると思いますか Like that's even possible And why the hell is she addressing me? 法王院さんは宇宙ひも理論には挑戦したくないようですねだったらもう一つ例に挙げたワームホール理論はどうですこちらは宇宙ひも理論よりはもうちょっと現実的かもしれませんところで法王院さんワームホールってどんなものか知ってますか Since I have been challenged, though, I can leave the question unanswered. Who can you hear? だけどここで残念なお知らせワームホールのトンネルは超重力がかかっていて開通すると同時に潰れちゃいますだからかかる重力を無効化するために何らかの再興しなくちゃダメなのいわゆるエキゾチック物質これはマイナスの重さを持つ物質で重力に反発するんですネガティブマス、ハンディスサンティングダフローティフューリーヴィトンデグラウンドメビノットアイカンエヴンビギンティマジンワティウォルビーライクこうやってムギュッとグーを作ってる状態がワームホールのトンネルですここを通るためには手の中に私が握ろうとする力に反発する何かを作ってムギュッとできなくしないとダメということですねエキゾチック物質を注入してワームホールを安定させれば瞬間移動は可能になりますでもタイムトラベルをするにはそこからもう一手間必要ここでは仮にワームホールの入り口側の穴がこの秋葉原に出口側にある穴が LA にあるとしましょうまず LA にある穴を光に近い速さで宇宙の果てまで飛ばしちゃってくださいそして果てまで行ったらすぐに LA に引っ張り戻す。How? <笑>相対性理論により光の速さで動くと時間は遅く流れる。LA に戻ってきた穴は秋葉原にある穴よりも過去にあるということになります。というわけで。その状態で法王院さんがワームホールに飛び込んだら<笑>数年前の LA に行けるでしょうでもこの時点ではまだタイムトラベルをしたことにはなりません疑似的なタイムトラベルですいわゆる浦島効果ね重要なのはこのあと LA から秋葉原にもう一度ワームホールを通って戻ることそうするとその通過時間はゼロなので法王院さんは数年前の秋葉原に戻ってくるわけですこれでタイムトラベルは完了ワームホール理論に必要なものは宇宙ひもより楽ですよその1ワームホールそのものこの宇宙のどこかにもしかしたらあるかもしれません見つけた人はまだ誰もいませんがその2ワームホールの穴を光並みの速さで宇宙の果てまで往復させることのできるエネルギーその3エキゾチック物質ちなみにこれ実在は確認されてませんそうインプレメンテーション of either one will require ridiculous amount of effort and incorporating Them into a time machine is even more untenable. Bacarashi to say, so need that you are Bacate Morai Mastaka. Time to travel in the Lidon wa, Doremo Shiko Jikin des. So there are no Lidon Karadewa, Jisani Time Machine or Skurkotova de Kinai to Yukoto. 
それが私からの回答です結局現代の物理学じゃそこが限界10年後にはどうなってるか分かりませんがそれに仮にもっと簡単に過去へ行ける方法が発見されたとしても実際に行けるとは限らない因果率に関する根本的な問題が解決されていませんからタイムパラドックス質量保存の法則If a time machine travels from the future to the past, there will be suddenly be the extra mass of the time machine and its pilot in the past. I remember reading in a book, not a terrible, reputable book, but still, that such a violation of mass conservation would put the universe in danger. He didn't say what kind of danger. ああ。何が問題となるのかねタイムパラドックスはタイムパラドックスでも親殺しのパラドックスの方です。Oh, the thing where you kill your own and send stores before you were born。そのパラドックスの回が導き出されない限り、タイムトラベルは実現できない。絶対に。殺さなければいいんじゃないのそんな単純な問題じゃありません。SF 映画と同じように考えるのはとても危険です。あなたが消えるだけじゃ済まされない。Really? It doesn't seem that dangerous. 矛盾が生じることは、因果率の崩壊、相対性理論の崩壊、さらには、この世のすべての物理法則の崩壊を意味するのよ。パラドックスは理論上の思考実験に過ぎない。現実に起きることはないし、起きてはいけないことなんです。だから、たとえ 0.0001% でも起きる可能性のあるどんな行動も、絶対に実行には移せない。そう考える方が自然じゃないですか多世界解釈や自己無矛盾の原理っていう抜け道もありますが、個人的にはファンタジーすぎると思うので認めたくないですね。I grind my teeth. Looks like I have no choice but to concede. マキスクリス truly is a genius. I end up listening to all of Kurus' electorate. ATF, after that two time travel theory she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence. She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke by the end. It was an impressive lecture, so I imperceived that you won't think it was an 18 year old's first time. She did well to respond to my malicious question with sarcasm. She She got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? Leaving that aside. I saw my kiss, Kurisu dead. And yet she's alive. My memory d o e s n t mesh with reality. And not just my memory of Kurisu, but also my conversation with Mayuri. Daru, too, everything that happened in this reality stands in stark opposite to the world I remember. Everything will be solved if I just told myself that, that what I saw was a dream, an illusion, it never happened. Daru? 
by the time I had snapped out of my internal monologue, Taro had wandered off, so be it. I need to focus on finding a way to discover the true cause of my contradicting memories anyway. Yeah, this leaves me with no choice. We're going there! Wait, we're going! Oh my god! Ah. I arrive at Yana Bayashi Shrine. I need to get exorcised. <laughs> I serious double that the Makasi Kurisu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's not wrong to seek an exorcist after such an experience. I'm Japanese, it's in our blood. Yanabashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kando River. To find it, enter the first side road after crossing Maneselbashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multitudinous building. Kenaji Myojin is the more famous shrine in Akiba, but I deliberate to choose this one. <laughs> there are two girls standing in front of the main building. One is Mayuri and the other is Tosil looking beauty wearing traditional Miko attire. You Urish Urushi Para Luka, the chief priest's son, lovely in every way, but she, but he's a guy. Okabe-san, konnichiwa. We met when I rescued him from aggressive photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. It also happened that Lukaku and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I had gotten to know him. Demon sword Samidar may be an Im imitation sword, but that is only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worthy to wield it appears, it unleashes its true power. ほう。<笑><笑> Lukaku smiles happily as I know. ありがとうございます。美しい指定関係だね。Jeez. So we do have a master supply relationship. So だって。コスプレするなんて僕恥ずかしいよ。でもでも、ルカ君は絶対に会うと思うんだ。こんな可愛い子が女の子のはずがない。で、大人気になるよ。ね、しようよ、コスプレデビュー。
My Uri's hobby is making costumes, she's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. And it looks like she shoots Lukaku as her next target. That's why I came here instead of Kanda Shrine. レイの <laughs> 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 Quite a shock to hear that from Mayuri. Uh, this is real. Uh, おかべさんはい。すいません、今日もさ。でも僕どうしたら。お払いを急げ。この前教えた通りにやればいい。はい。えっと。Reasons tell me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance make me feel guilty, like I made a frail girl cry. The voice of a girl, the mannerism of a girl, more feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy. Taller than Mayuri, yet also slender. He's, he's, he's reading his cheek. Reading what? Eh, you know. Reading, re reading the the cheeks, R E D, uh, that one, the N and the G, reading. <laughs> but he's a guy. <laughs> Looks stunning into Miko robes. But he's a guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's almost evening yet, still hot as hell outside. But he's a guy. But oh my god. <laughs> With a sign of relief, I offer Lukaku my thanks. But he's a guy. Lukaku gave us some corn on the cope, and Mayuri and I left Yana by Yashi Shrine. Though this corn was originally sent to Lukaku's home, Lukaku offered to share it with the lab after it proved to be too much for his family to eat. We truly own Luca for providing us with valuable supplies. Yeah. Still fire up after Lukaku exorcism, Mayuri sung her bag of corn about like a sword. Not that I could blame her, I was excited myself. We tried taking a shortcut, but found our path blocked off. Reasonable, I suppose, given that the bridge led to Redican. With our progress halted, Mayuri takes our out her pocket watch to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the short you, you expect a high school girl to carry. Its name is Pocket. 
ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pocket D with her everywhere. One one, it's her most important treasure. If she's concerned about the time, it must mean she has to go to work soon. Without saying a word, I extend my hand to Mayuri, offering to take the corn back to, to the lab myself. ありがとう。じゃあ、マユシはこれからバイトだから、もう行くね。マユリ。お前はあの時ラジカンで男の悲鳴を聞いたよな。悲鳴。うん。それっていつのこと？今日の昼だ。<laughs> okay, I'm gonna let this video till here like we have played 1 hour and 20 something minutes so yeah I don't know how much is left of chapter 1 but I want to breathe everything so yeah so that why we stop in here you know right now okay so as always okay they explain okay recap recap they explain okay I am thinking and I think this is what is going on I think so this guy he traveled to another timeline and his text let me get it right he sent the text like from the future yeah from the from the oh my god my brain okay let's not focus on that <laughs> it's from another timeline right don't tell me if somebody's watching this till now I don't know wow Oh, okay, okay, okay So guys as always thank you so much for clicking. I'm sorry for my not reading so well words on the screen I'm Trying my best, you know, I, I think this is like what somebody somebody learning to read English video <laughs> learning English in, an, in one hour and 20 something minutes So yeah, so thank you so much and see you in the next part I mean if you want I don't know I lose myself in